Hey there guys, so this is Core Space, this is a good uh, quick little game, sorry for all the sawdust around, I've just cleaned out my little man which is just there in his cage, so yeah. So this is back to Core Space, let's get back to this. So this is a 1 to 6 player game I believe, or 1 to 4 player game, I can't remember, but it's got 6 of these um Control panels in it, which are for your characters. So yeah, I'm just about to get into it. So this is the actual core back course core space box. Sorry for my learned disabilities. Can't say my words sometimes. So yeah. So this is how the map is supposed to look. This is the rule book. Some very nice illustrations. Very easy rule book to follow and things like that. So it just tells you how to do the different bits and pieces. So this is salvage run. So it tells you all the information you need here and that. Then over here it shows you how to lay out the map, which is already done. And then down here it tells you how many in your crew you should have a minimum of three. Uh, sorry, maximum of three. Or yeah, maximum starting crew is three. Sorry, guys. Then, uh, what cards you would need. So, these represent these cards here. Okay, so it says four of those ones, because they have the sim matching symbol. Yeah. Then, all of these, and then all of those. So, the hostility tracker, which is this one, which is this bit here. Okay, so it goes on to three, so you put three pegs in, three there, and it tells you, like, it starts at three. Then over here, it tells you what you need, so in each one of these, so there they are there, one there, one there, one there, one there, um, and so on. So yeah, so it tells you that it has, in the big ones, in the green and yellow ones, so both there and there, there and there, it tells you you've got to have one large and two small. Then in the small ones, it tells you you should have three, so which is the red ones, dosh and dosh, and then the green one, uh, which is over here. So these bits here are your starting positions. And then these bits here are where you put your numbers out for where your purge are going to come out. I've got to turn that over because I've been doing it on the reserve side, which means they get harder. So this is your dashboard. So this is, your, this is where you put your crew member in. So this is where you're going to put your equipment. And this is your special abilities. You can. I have only taken one special ability from each. And then down here are your life points, then your skill points, and then your ammunition. Obviously, I'm not going to give my crews any weapons at all. So, they will go out there on their own. And then over here, you've got the civilians. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it. And that's what it looks like. So, there we go. So, I'm now going to sort out. I've already sorted out the main two rare ones which it says here rare yeah one large one small so i'm just about to work that out and I, these are the different pegs that you need and there's another one over there these are the baddies and i'll show you i'm not a very good painter but i'll show you them all in detail excuse me all in detail quite soon so i'm just about to sort out these and then the other ones and then i'll get back to you now you do have a ship token which which can go in there either four places as I said already, but I'm going to use my ship token just here. So yeah. So what you do is the first thing you do is you do an event. You read out what it says and then you just do what it says. So this one is a uh, very information the. the uh, okay. Civilians target makes an action towards the traders, which they're not in. So there you go. So that one's obsolete. So that's it. Then it's a B. 
<coughs> uh, the tracker would go up one, but it's already gone. So, yep. Yeah. So, the first go would be you get two actions per turn. Uh, one's walking, searching the rooms, etc. Opening doors, closing doors, etc. This one I've gone for on tech, which means um, basically is the eyeball, which is one of them. I think it's the is no uh, is this one the electric? I believe I done. <coughs> I can't remember exactly, but yeah, I did do it before it. Um, and basically, it can kill off any purge that's a level 1 or 2 without causing anything to go up. So basically, what happens is, is when you roll your dice, which is over here, <clears throat> if you get a weapon that... Um, if you roll your dice and you get a 2 malfunctions, then your weapon jams. Okay? Um... And if you don't, if you get one, I don't think it means anything, basically. And this is your civilian dice, tells you what they do, the different symbols tell what you do on the civilian side. But yeah, <clears throat> so you unlock, unjam if you want to, and stuff like that. So you get two actions per turn. And that's basically it. And that's all there is to it. It's a very simple, easy game, and I will demonstrate it uh, in my next video. So thanks for watching.